Today's show is about something that's not very useful for most people. It's just an interesting contraption that I put together. If you've ever been out on a boat, you've probably seen one of these incinerator toilets. Uh, they use a liner like this right here that you've got to open up down inside the toilet. Just like this, you do your business, you open up the little thing, it drops down inside the toilet and it burns. Uh, these papers out at sea are kind of hard to get a hold of. You gotta go to shore, have the company send them to you somewhere on shore to be able to have them. So what I was able to do here is basically create a folding machine for those liners. A very simple machine, it just has a place to put a wax paper roll, because that's all those are made out of is wax paper. So you've got a roll of wax paper up here. If I undo the latch, I can open up the door to it. You'll see some ears right here. These are mechanically operated from this lever right here that they actually close down and create these folded corners that you see on the liners right there. So that's how we create those. So let me walk you in close and just kind of show you how it works. All the little mechanical operations. You can see the little standoff leaf here that creates the crease line for us at the center. If I close that down, you can see over here the corner folders that fold over our corners. You notice right here that I have a much thinner piece, if I can kind of get this at the right angle, there's a much thinner piece of aluminum inside of that notch right there, and that's where we actually fold the material up over. So I wasn't trying to fold over a big thick piece like this, leaving a nice heavy corner on the edge of it. This gives us a nice tight crease line right down through it. also holds it on there until I open up the door and allows me to pull it off of that. The back of these have a little rod coming off the back of them going down to this counter lever little mechanism I've got here. That has a cable coming off of it. Going down through a hole right there. You can see that hole in the main part of the frame. It's also got a return spring. That spring pulls it back just like that. On the back side, that cable goes through to a little triangular leaf right here. You can see the cable coming through the hole down there on the edge of that triangular leaf. That's got a rod connected to it. That rod goes up to a little V piece like this which goes down to the other side as well. And from the V, we go up to this little wire. You can see some holes right here drilled just to adjust that. So each one of the sides close down equally. That goes down to this rod that I use to mechanically operate that, just like this. In the end, I wanted that rod to also run the cutter across. Probably end up putting that in there, maybe show that in a later video. But this made it really easy to be able to produce over and over again the exact same size liner that way you have a repeatable size and shape that you can fit into those incinerator toilets. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this. You pull the piece of wax paper down right to the top edge of the door down here, which is gonna give us the proper length. See this piece right here, what that's gonna do when I shut the door is actually crease the center line for us on the inside edge and make sure so it creases right where we want it. So next you're gonna go ahead and shut the door down. Sometimes the edges of the wax paper kind of get bunched up right there, so you gotta make sure they don't do that. Once the door is shut, you come over here, there's a lever. I'm gonna just pull down on the lever. You'll notice those two little ears right here fold up. They fold the actual corners in our liner. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is cut it. So I have a little lock, you turn the lock, it locks the door so you don't have to hold it. Come up here with a knife for now. Later on, you can install a cutter on there. Open it back up, just like that. Pull that off of the center piece and you now have a perfect liner for one of those incinerator toilets. Not very valuable, not very useful for most people, but it's a pretty interesting contraption.